That's a Spanish speaking side. Go ahead and bring it on. <laughs> what did you say about a fever? Just how he did it, went through that lineup despite giving up some hits. I mean, they had traffic, seemed like every inning. And there were times when he needed strikeouts. There were times when he went and got them. Um, it's a hard way to pitch. You know, we're, we're sitting on a one run lead and, but he made it, he made it hold up. Actually the other day when Sam came back, just what that does to the bullpen and for you as a manager tonight, it seemed like you were able to move things around a little bit different because of that. Yeah. It, it kind of lengthens it out a little bit. Um, in the, when we brought James in, I didn't want, I didn't want their catcher Rogers and I didn't want Baez facing left-hander. So we tried to go the other way. Um, we were pretty fortunate. It worked. Uh, I mean, the play miles made in the, in the eighth, that was, that's game changer. Terry, was there a point tonight that you knew a man was locked in and going to have a good night at the play? I don't know how to answer those things. I mean, you know, after he got his fourth hit, <laughs> like you know, but I mean, you know, you don't you don't know. I mean, when he shoots the ball to right field like that, I always feel good. But it was certainly good to see. We always talk about having patience with players and relying, especially when you can look at the back of their card, knowing Ahmed seems to be one of those guys where he doesn't hit very much in April, but it seems right around this date, the last two three years. It takes off. Does that help you with that patience word that we always ask you about? Yeah, because you try to do what's right and you try to stay consistent. And I know if you start playing like lineup bingo or, you know, it, it, it doesn't work. I think there's times to make changes and things like that, but he's going to, he's going to get his hits. And when he does, because of his energy and his base running, he's, he ends up being in the middle of us doing good things. You said about Will Brennan's throw. A nice throw, thankfully. I mean, because we didn't have any, we didn't have any wiggle room, and and I thought Gallagher not only caught a great game but made a really nice play. On the replay, it sounded like they asked if he was blocking a plate. It was pretty, pretty evident he was not. I thought he was. Pretty... Again, I didn't. I didn't even. I couldn't hear them today for some reason, but I thought he was well out in front of it and came all the way back. But it was almost like they did it because they were. You're allowed to check. Yeah. You're allowed to. It's part of the safe. You can do both. So there's no reason not to. Just going back to Miles catch. Uh, I think the stat cast had the expected batting average on that ball at like 630. But his uh, expected catch was like 80% for, for him. That just saying what an elite defender he is out there. I was going to say, I, I don't don't have time to think about those kind of numbers. I'm just glad he caught it. I mean, I think I think Miles is elite. I think he's proven that he's he's one of the best ones. Um, Stephen Kwan's really become one of the better leadoff hitters in the game. Just what does he mean at the top of your lineup? The second straight game he's let off with the double, been able to score. I think it's rare for a younger guy to be able to handle what we've challenged him with. You know, it's not just getting hits, it's seeing pitches, getting on base. And for a young kid, he, he's done a really good job. Level-headed, he doesn't get too high or too low. He he makes the pitchers work, so it helps other people in the lineup. What do you think of their guy, Tito? I all, have always thought he's had really good stuff, really good. I know he's a great athlete, but he's got mid-90s fastball changeup. I've always thought he's been good. All right. All right, guys.